evening, can my coming through loud and clear? I've got a lot of songs to uh, get through with you all tonight. So I want to say a quick hello to Sissy. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Paula. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Linda. Hello, Patty. Hello, Annalisa. Hello, Lady Wolverine. Hello, Annette. Hello, Lynn Eisenbaum. Hello, Jill. And hello, Dorothy. Thank you very much, everybody, for being in here tonight. I do have so many songs. I think I've probably bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, but uh, I, tend to, I tend to like to do that, especially because oh, I like doing what I do. But yeah, thank you all very much for joining me tonight. I'm just going to double check a couple of things because, yeah, that's running. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me tonight. Shall we, shall we play some music? I'm going to play you a whole heap of stuff uh, by Green Day. Um, mainly the stuff which has affected me and I've, uh, I've uh, basically been uh, listening to and been affected by in my life, in my lifetime. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to start off with a, a tune or two from Nimrod. Well, a tune from Nimrod. This one is called Nice Guys Finish Last. Welcome tonight, everybody. It is the Green Day special. How are you all doing? Sounding okay? Coming through loud and clear? Good. I hope everyone is feeling very, very well. Uh, hello. Massive shout out to all the people watching this from the future. If you are watching this from the future, hello. Now, I received, I received uh, a, few, a few messages from people saying that they're going to watch back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's totally fine. I mean, some people will probably be dropping in throughout the show. So thank you all very much um, for uh, messaging through. Thank you very, very much, everybody. I'm going to play, uh, I'm gonna play a little tune now. This is, I mean, I say this is relatively new. It, this, was a, this was one that 
when I when I used to teach at all the rock schools, the kids used to absolutely love playing. Hello, Diane. Good to see you. And uh, yeah, I <laughs> I remember <laughs> I remember playing this one half to death uh, with a with a whole heap of kids. But yeah, this was uh, this is a very cool one. This one is called Know Your Enemy. Amazing stuff. All these memories, all these memories just shooting back through my head. Just kids just being like, do you know your red on me? I think that's what, that's the thing with Green Day songs is that you just absolutely endure. Um, I'm going to play you a whole array of their tunes uh, across the evening. So uh, strap in, buckle up, because I, I've got some, I'm just looking at the set list now. I'm like, this looks a little terrifying, if I do say so myself. Because there's just so much going on. All right, this is another song off Nimrod, and this one is called Scattered. Well, I got some scattered pictures lying on my picture floor. Reminds me of 
is asking if there was a musical of American Idiot in the UK. She saw it and says, right, Patty, what did you think of it, honestly? Because I, I, uh, I, saw, I saw some of it. I thought it was... I t- okay. Let me put it this way. I thought it was not Green Day. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. I thought it was not Green Day. Don't want to be an American idiot. Like, I'm sorry. I just, I can't get my bonce around it at all. I really can't. It was like, my name is St. Jimmy. I'm a son of a gun. I was like, uh, I see what you're saying, but uh, this is a whole different take on one of my favorite albums ever. And I don't think I like it. Um, but no, I don't think it made it over here. Probably because there's, probably because there's judgmental guys like me who are like, absolutely not. (laughs) Absolutely not. I don't know. I don't know how, how, uh, I don't know how uh, it did. I really want to know what Billy Joe really thinks about it. That's what I want. But yeah, thank you so very, very much for the bells. Appreciate it very much. Thank, thank you very you much kindly. to everybody um, who sent me in uh, admission money. I know it's like it's the event is open to everybody. But I really do appreciate um, the people that have sent, uh, sent uh, like, you know, ticket money in and, and uh, donations and everything. I really do appreciate it. And if you just want to send bells and stuff, that's fine. And look, if you do, do just want to sit back and, and uh, just check out what I do tonight, Things are a bit tight. That's totally fine as well. Please do just share share my music around, and uh, I'll be very, very happy with that. Right, I'm going to play uh, another song from Nimrod. I 
And this one is called redundant. I think the thing with uh, with uh, Nimrod, Nimrod, thank you very much, everybody. Um, I think the thing is with Nimrod is that they explored a whole other type of, I don't know, from Kaplunk to Dookie to then like go to an album like Nimrod was very, very interesting for me, just to see how they've done some of the most melodic stuff they've ever done and some of the heaviest stuff they've ever done, like, uh, what is it, Platypus, I Hate You? Um, um, uh, prosthetic head. Thank you for joining me here today, everybody. Right, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play a very strange, a very strange song from Nimrod now. Scott, thank you so very much for the bells. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a song. I was <laughs> quite shocked by this one when I first heard it. This is uh, a weird little number from Nimrod, and it's called King for a Day. Mm. 
I want to. I want to see. I want to know whose idea it was to get all the horns, the horn sections on all of those. Just mental. Hello, Lissy. Good to see you. How you doing? All right, everybody. Thank you very, very much for being here tonight. I've. I have so. I've so much. I couldn't. I couldn't not do a Green Day special, really. Mainly because I owe, I sort of owe this band so much, really. <laughs> I, <laughs> so, so with a lot, with a lot of Green Day songs, like they use um, they use power chords, right? So, oh, it's difficult to explain. But I sort of cheated when I was younger. I was sort of barred the, all the strings, and I just moved uh, these two fingers around. And uh, I used to play with this guy called Frankie Torpy. And uh, he was like, he was like, my, pretty much my first real guitar teacher, without being my guitar teacher. We used to just jam together, right? And which is where I, you learn most of your stuff, anyway. But uh, <laughs> I said to him, once, I was like, "You've taught me so much about the guitar." And he goes, "Oh, you've taught me stuff too." And I went, "Like what?" And he goes, mm, "How to move power chords around faster." And I was like, "That is rubbish." <laughs> I was like, that's nothing. I was like, that's absolutely nothing. Like, in fact, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I'm teaching you bad habits, son.
Oh, man. Green Day used to have uh, some restaurants. You know, it's funny how bands sort of, they go into, like, investments sort of, like, all those types of different things. Um, beer is another big one. Like, I, Iron Maiden. My dad is a mass. He loves Trooper. He, he loves the Trooper, the Trooper beer. And the song. But it sounds, when he, when he, when he, when he, when he says the song, like, you know, sings a song, it sounds like an Irish jig. Ridiculous. <laughs> Lady Wolverine says, Nirvana and Green Day are the reason she started playing guitar. Yeah. Snap. Snapsies. All right. Let's, uh, let's play, let's play this one. This is, uh, this is of the American Idiot album. This one is called Holiday.
walking lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me, and I walk alone. I walk these empty streets on the boulevard of the dreams, where the city. Thank you very, very, very much, everybody. Oh, wow. Diane, thank you so very much for the bells. Karen, thank you so very much for the bells. And thank you so very much for the bells again. Paula, thank you so very much for the bells. Thank you. So very generous, everybody. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, and <laughs> Linda, thank you very, very much for... The bells, thank you, everybody. Really, thank you very, very much. You're very kind. Um, I'm having a, having a great time tonight. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those, I don't know, 
It was one of those. It was one of those funny things. I said, my mum said to me, she says, "Are you are you doing another one of your um them them specials?" And I went, I went, yeah. She said, "What's your next special?" I went. <laughs> I love her for this. I go, uh, I go, uh, I go. I'm doing a Green Day special. Mum goes, "Oh, oh, you love that? They're your favourite." <laughs> They're your favourite. Yes, mum, they're my favourite. <laughs> oh, they're your favourite. Do you remember when do you remember when you and Ian won that competition? Of course I remember it, mum. It's one of the biggest achievements of my life. Or at least the most one of the most important. I'll tell you. That performance, I, I, I thought I had a picture here of me doing that. I'm sure I do somewhere. I just can't, I can't remember where I, my 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 studio is. I had a rejig of some, and goes, I put it in a safe place, didn't I? I put the pictures in a safe place. Where is it? Well, it's safe. I just don't know where that place is. Um, <laughs> has my mum heard my impression? But uh, yes, I think I do it to her face uh, quite a lot. I, it mostly comes out of like Christmas time, at Christmas time, maybe like maybe some birthdays when we're all like together, maybe Easter when there's like an Easter meal. She definitely knows that. Uh, yeah, I take no prisoners when it comes to impressions of her. <clears throat> what was I going to say? I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, anyway, I just yeah, and I I said to her and. And she she was like, and I and I said I said to her I was, like, I was like if I if you'd have told me back then that I'd be doing this now, like that this would print essentially you know be my job you know, I'm like, busking playing, Green Day songs and she she I she she goes just it's pretty nice isn't it and I was like yeah, it is pretty nice indeed. My mum is really sweet. She's pretty dark though. She has a, she has a very dark sense of humour. Like 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 I take no the reason I take no prisoners with her is because she hasn't taken any prisoners with me in the past as well. What you give is what you get. Said the jam. All right, let's let's do um let's do this let's do this little doozy. This one is a uh, a gorgeous one called Novocaine. Sensation inside Bitter sweet my green in my head It's like a throbbing toothache of mine I can't take this feeling anymore Dream of pressure from the swelling Sensations overwhelming. Give me a long kiss, good night, and everything will be alright. Tell me now, and I won't feel a thing. So give me another kiss. From the swelling, the sensation's overwhelming. Give me a long kiss, 
She's a rebel. I, I, when I first heard it, I was sure it was years ago. By the way, it was. I was sure it's, she's a Red Bull. She's a she's. she's I was like, is, is this a Red Bull song? No, 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 no. Don't ask. Why did fourteen-year-old me? Uh, come out on that one. I think probably because it sort of reminds me of um, there's a a song Nirvana co covered uh, called Molly's Lips, and it's and it it's the chord progression is like the same. It's like she said, she said she'll take me anywhere, she'll take me anywhere as long as she stays with me. She said. And that's the same way. She's a rebel, she's a sign, she's a salt of the earth, and she's dangerous. It just adds the D in there. Now, I think that's probably why 14 year old me came out going, like, Woohoo! It's Molly's lips. Karen, thank you so very much for the bells. Thank you very much. Glad to see you in, Karen. Thank you for being here.
Right, this one, uh, one, of the, one of the biggest numbers to date, this one is a glorious little number. This one is called When September Ends. Do you know what? I haven't listened to any of Green Day's new stuff. I'll tell you why, because I want to find some time to just sit down and actually listen to it, you know? Because I, I feel like I haven't really listened, really listened to music for a while. I feel like I've learned music. I feel like I've written music. I feel like I've recorded music. I feel like I've played music. But I haven't really listened to it. Which is stupid, because that's what that's kind of what it's there for. Anyway, here we go. This one is when September ends. Sorry, wake me up when September ends. So.
Oh, everyone, you're so very, so very kind. Thank you so very much, everyone. Hang on, what, what have I, what have I got to say? Thanks, so Paula. Thank you very much for the bells. My oh, goodness me. Uh, are you all very, very kind? Thank you so much. And Jill, thank you very, very much for the bells. Oh. Is that that's naughty i didn't mean to that shouldn't be doing that thank you very much jill and tracy b thank you very much for the bells hang on and diane thank you so much for the bells uh, this working There we go, yeah. Thank you for the bells, Diane. And Karen, thank you so very much for the bells. You know, what's really funny? I it's funny that Dot mentions like 14-year-old me because I just I just gave myself not an injury, but I hurt myself. It just something hurt. Something hurt in that one. And I used to do this to myself all the time. Um, and I, I smack my index finger like really, really hard on either the pickup or the or the neck or the guitar. Just like, but it just needs to make me play harder. Like it usually, like pain is there to sort of say, oh, don't do that again. Make sure whatever you do, that thing, that's not good. And I just go, ah, ah pain. Play harder. Play faster. <laughs> All right. Honestly, thank you very much, everybody, for your support. Um, I'm gonna play one now. This one, this is another one of their uh, relative. I say it's relatively new. It's still. It, this feels new to me, but it's just because I'm old enough to sort of remember a lot of the older albums, which feel like they came out sort of like yesterday. And I'm like, yeah, I bought the CD. <laughs> I bought it on CD. A really new band. These young upstarts. And you're like, oh, Billy Joe's like <laughs> in his 50s. Thank you very much, Patty. I appreciate that. It all... Honestly, guys, it all goes back into the machine one way or another. It all goes back into the machine. <laughs> uh, Dot says, I believe that uh, art is pain nonsense. Uh, sometimes. I, I believe that you can turn pain into art. I believe that you can, there can be some sort of like alchemy, like out of pain, you know, comes beauty and all that kind of stuff. So I, in some ways, yes. But it's like, use the pain. Like, not, not like, use the force, Luke. Let go, Luke. It's like, use the pain, Luke. I know, who, who would ever be like if uh, John Cena or someone was like <laughs> Luke's, uh, Luke Skywalker's uh, trainer? All right, this one is called 21 Guns. Do you know? 
was right the first time.
Okay, thank you so very much for the bell. Sorry, I really did lose. I really lost my place. I couldn't decide what chords to play. All right, next, next up. Next up, I'm going to play one of my favorite songs ever, actually. When I first heard this, I was like, oh, my goodness, because it was thick, it was heavy, really nicely produced. And um, I, I, used to, I, used to get, I used to get my band. I was, in a, I was in a garage band, man. I was in a garage band. Probably wearing this T-shirt at some point, but I was in a, I was in a, in a garage band, and uh, we used to play in my mate's garage. That's why we were a garage band, a garage band. And uh, garage sort of means a, a di- it means di- a different thing in the UK because we have garage music. Do you have garage music in the states? I'm not sure, but we have garage music in the states. No, in the UK. And anyway, but we uh, we played in my mate's garage a lot. It was pretty cool. Um, and uh, I used to get them to play this song so so much. The poor guys. This is a song off Nimrod. This one is called Hitching a Ride. This is so much fun. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here and uh, and indulging me. How much do I? How much do I have left? Uh, hmm. 
I right, we've done about an hour. I that <laughs> done about an hour now. Right, should we have should we have a quick break? I don't think the next half or well, the next portion is gonna be as long. So if we have a quick break now, say what's the time? Um da 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 what five what if I, uh, should we say 10, what, what do you want, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 50, say 10 minutes, 10 minutes enough? Let's say, let, let's, get, let's give you, let's give you 10, let's give you 10. Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. 10 minutes all right yeah let's let's have 10 minutes let's have 10 minutes and then we'll we'll come back and then i'll uh i'll smash to the rest of them yeah all right see you back here at five two right i'm gonna uh give me a sec i'm gonna put you in the trusty hands of darth there uh, give me one momento silvu's plate all right i'll see you, see you all very very soon i'll put some tunes on you on your screens while we wait Okay, see you in a sec. Hey. 